What's up, guys? This is your host, Johnny Highlander. And uh, today, I'm going to run down top 10 future NXT champions. Uh, I just want to apologize for the poor quality of the camera. Uh, I'm trying to improve videos for you guys all the time. And uh, content is more important than how good the content looks. So I'm going to always try to put out content whether or not it may or may not look as professional as some other YouTubers. So uh, without further ado, we'll just get started. Um, this is your weekly wrestling recap. I'm your host, Johnny Highlander. We're just going to go into top 10 future NXT champions. Now, number 10, Velveteen Dream. Uh, Velveteen Dream is more of a homegrown talent uh, in the WWE. In NXT, they've pretty much been poaching the independent scene, bringing in all the good independent wrestlers they can find. Like, the roster on NXT at this point is frankly ridiculous with the amount of NXT, or with the amount of independent stars that they brought into NXT. Uh, the roster on NXT is pretty good these days. So, uh, Velveteen Dream, though, he's more of a homegrown WWE talent. Um, they're already, it's clear that they're already grooming him for a big push. So I think uh, in the future, it's safe to say that we're going to see Velveteen Dream as the NXT champion. Uh, number nine, Roderick Strong. Roderick Strong is one of these guys I'm talking about that's been taken off the uh, independent circuit. And uh, Roderick Strong is just a great wrestler. He's great as a babyface, even though they've uh, had him turn heel now and join the Undisputed Era, which, personally, I'm super glad for. Uh, I think uh, the fact that Bobby Fish got injured probably has a lot to do with Roderick Strong joining the Undisputed Era. However, I'm not going to complain. I'm glad to see Roderick Strong part of the strongest stable in NXT, and uh, I'm glad to see Roderick Strong as a tag team champion, but I think that in the future, we're very likely to see Roderick Strong with a run with the NXT Championship. He already has had some great matches with uh, uh, Drew McIntyre and Bobby Roode, uh, so I don't think it's far out of the realm of possibility to suggest that Roderick Strong could be NXT Champion in the near future. Uh, we're going to move on now to number eight, Pete Dunne. Now, I think... The bruiser weight, Pete Dunn, has held the UK championship for a while now. He took it from Tyler Bate, who is the inaugural UK champion. And uh, uh, Pete Dunn just has a great character. Uh, he looks like a legitimate tough guy, and the way he wrestles in the ring, he comes off as a tough, strong opponent. And uh, I think that Pete Dunn would just make a great heel NXT champion kind of like Bobby Roode, who was a great NXT champion. Now he's been promoted to the main roster. But I think it would be awesome to see Pete Dunne with the big strap around his waist, uh, not the UK championship. I'm talking about the 100% NXT champion, Pete Dunne. So uh, now we're going to move on to number seven. Number seven, Killian Dane. Now, of all the members of Sanity, which is a great faction in NXT, Obviously, the two best factions in NXT are the Undisputed Era and Sanity. However, Sanity has kind of been moved up to the main roster, but uh, they kind of float back and forth. And Killian Dane has recently uh, fought Aleister Black for the number one contendership for, uh, for the NXT Championship. And uh, he was very close. It was a very close match between Killian Dane and Aleister Black. Aleister Black ended up uh, pulling out the win with the Black Mass. Now Aleister Black is NXT champion. Uh, a few weeks ago, Aleister Black would have been right here on this list, but now he has actually become NXT champion. And I think we're all happy to see that. Uh, Aleister Black is great as a babyface, which is how they're portraying him right now. And they've had a few heel NXT champion sh uh, champions, so it's great to see Aleister Black as a babyface. Uh, NXT champion, but I think Killian Dane uh, against Aleister Black would be a great feud that we could see, 
And if Killian Dane would, would be the one to take the championship from Aleister Black, no one would complain. And we'd happy we'd be happy to see the former big demo, Killian Dane, as NXT champion. And like I said, he is the uh, member of Sanity, which is most likely to win the NXT championship. Uh, we've got uh, Alexander Wolf and uh, Eric Young, but I just can't see them becoming NXT champion before Killian Dane. We all know WWE loves a big guy, and they don't come much bigger than Killian Dane. So, uh, number six, the best feud that's going on in NXT right now, Tommaso Ciampa. No one in NXT is more hated currently than Tommaso Ciampa. And if you want to have a heel NXT champion, we talked about it with Pete Dunne, but there's no more heel NXT champion than Tommaso Ciampa. Just imagine the heat that Tommaso Ciampa would get from the crowd if he was to win the NXT championship and, uh, and uh, hold that over the fans. That would be something great to see. I'm sure Tommaso Ciampa would get genuine heat from the crowd, which is something I say all the time. But what's a heel supposed to do except get heat from the crowd? And uh, Tommaso Ciampa is a great wrestler, and it would be great to see him as NXT champion. So that was number six, Tommaso Ciampa. Now we're halfway through the list. We're going to move on to number five, Lars Sullivan. Now I was talking about a big man with uh, Killian Dane. Lars Sullivan is a big man. He's a, a tough heel in the classic sense. He's kind of like one of those wrestlers from the 80s, it seems like. Um, and uh, he just brutalizes his opponents. And it would be very believable to see Lars Sullivan take out Aleister Black and win the NXT Championship. I think already they've uh, been building towards a feud with Aleister Black. And uh, the match that Aleister Black and Lars Sullivan could put on would be great to see, and uh, if Lars Sullivan were to beat Killian Dane and win the NXT Championship, I would have called it on this video. So we're going to move on to number four, Ricochet. Speaking of poaching wrestlers from the independent scene, they don't get much bigger on the independent scene than Ricochet. Now, Ricochet is currently in a feud with the Velveteen Dream, and once Ricochet defeats the Velveteen Dream and moves on from that feud, who's next for him to feud with? I say Aleister Black. Man, the match between Aleister Black and Ricochet with uh, Aleister Black's uh, tough offense, his uh, kicks and heavy strikes against Ricochet's high-flying offense would be so great to see. And people would love to see Ricochet overcome the, the bigger man, Aleister Black, and win that NXT championship. And it would be awesome to see him win it so quickly after his debut. But I think WWE would be willing to push Ricochet in this way. So, number four, Ricochet. Now, number three, EC3. Another wrestler who's been picked from the so-called independent scene, if you include TNA slash Impact Wrestling as the independent scene, which I really don't. So he was poached from, from Impact Wrestling. And uh, before uh, EC3 was brought over to NXT, he was the Impact Grand Champion. And I'm pretty sure before that, he was the, uh, he was the Impact Champion. So... Uh, Having EC3 come up and move from one championship to the next and win the NXT championship, I think people would find that very easy to believe. Um, also, uh, EC3 has a great look, and his character as the one percenter, it's a tried and true character in wrestling. It was done by Ted DiBiase with the Million Dollar Man. It's currently being done by Cody Rhodes. It was done by JBL. So it's a tried and true character, and EC3 does it very, very well. Right up there with the best of them. Right up there with JBL, EC3 does a great heel, better than you, one percenter, rich guy. So, number three, EC3. Now, number two, and he's been being pushed for months on NXT, Adam Cole, baby. Adam Cole, baby. <laughs> uh, obviously, the Undisputed Era is a 
uh, an attempt by WWE to capitalize on the success of the Bullet Club. And it's not the only way they're doing it. They're doing it in many other ways. But Undisputed Era is one of the best ways that they have capitalized on the success of the Bullet Club. And uh, they've kept uh, Adam Cole kind of out of the tag team picture and focused more on Kyle O'Reilly and Bobby Fish. Then after Bobby Fish's injury, they've been focusing on Roderick Strong and Kyle O'Reilly. But uh, Adam Cole has been a part of everything. But they've kind of kept him away from the tag team scene. They've had him win the new championship that they just created, the North American Championship. And uh, obviously, they're trying to groom him for a position at the top of the mountain as NXT champion. So number two, Adam Cole as NXT champion. And the number one future wrestler to be NXT champion, and if you guys have listened to this video, you probably could have called it Johnny Gargano. Now, Johnny Gargano had some amazing matches, and I'm serious with how amazing these matches were. Amazing matches with Andrade C. and Almas for the NXT championship, and the only reason he didn't win the NXT championship was because of interference by Tommaso Ciampa, and the entire fan base wants to see Johnny wrestling at the top of the mountain, winning the NXT championship. And if he did become NXT champion, just imagine the the star ratings from Dave Meltzer. He would just be throwing out five star ratings because Johnny Gargano, Johnny Wrestling, there's a reason he's called Johnny Wrestling, is a great wrestler. He puts on a great match. And him and Andrade Cien almost did get that first five-star match since 2011. I personally wanted to see Johnny Gargano defeat Andrade Cien almost for the championship. I didn't get to see that happen, but you know how WWE just likes to build things up, and I'm sure that they're building up Johnny Gargano winning the NXT championship. Maybe they'll uh, have him win the NXT championship on the night before SummerSlam when they do the uh, NXT show before SummerSlam. If they do, I would be super, super happy to see that, and it'll probably be more exciting than whatever we see on SummerSlam. All right, that's your top 10 future NXT champion champions. Uh, number one, Johnny Gargano. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I've got a lot more great content planned for you guys. That's all for now. This has been your weekly wrestling recap. I'm your host, Johnny Highlander. Talk to you guys later.